Hey there, my name is Katie and welcome to the How To Be A Minimalist YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy. It is a kind of cold and gross and very dark, like the clouds are packed in pretty tight. Uh, it's just kind of a cold, gross, dark day. And so I'm going to spend a little bit of my free time spring cleaning today. Because I'm going to be spending a bit of my free time cleaning, I want my meals to be simple today. So I'm going to keep things quite easy, except for breakfast, I'm gonna indulge in a little bit, but I want to keep lunch and dinner very, very simple. Also, in case you don't know, we full-time RV and we purchased this RV when it was 19 years old. And we've lived here for four years now. We have done a lot of renovations we really have and those are the things that I really enjoy and that our family benefits from greatly but like my ceiling has carpet on it because it's insulation I guess it's weird and it's quirky and it gets dusty and I need to vacuum that so that is another chore that I will be doing today is vacuuming the ceiling I also have a few extra things that need to go into the laundry and I need to make laundry detergent for my husband he's gonna be taking care of laundry today so I'm going to first make up the laundry detergent I also need to make up my all-purpose cleaner I'm also going to put together dinner and throw that into the instant pot I'm going to first though take a nice little moment and make myself a good breakfast I will be sitting down and reading and eating some banana muffins and drinking some tea. I need to have a little self-care moment and enjoy that. So I'm going to do that and then I will get to work. So that is the plan. <laughs> Once all of that is done and breakfast is eaten and some self-care has been indulged in, I'm going to get to work on those other things. I have a few bananas that are really only suitable for making banana bread at this point or banana muffins as I'm going to turn them into. I have a zucchini that needs to be used up and I also wanted to experiment with putting an orange into these muffins. I am not done experimenting with this recipe. I'll be sure to share it when I am. Very busy morning with a little bit of self-care. Let's get to it.
I personally love spring cleaning. I find a lot of kind of peace in it. It's a great way of letting go of the winter and kind of letting it pass and welcoming the warmth and sunshine that is coming our way. So I enjoy it. Not everyone does, but I hope that some of these little tips are helpful to you so that you can also have a beautiful home that you are really enjoying. For lunch today, I'm going to be making a tofu vegetable stir fry. Usually I make rice for other meals and I will cook extra so that I can keep a little bit in the fridge for things just like this, as well as I always keep a couple of bags of frozen stir fry vegetables in the freezer. It is one of the fastest meals. And when I'm having a busy day with homeschooling or running around or whatever, and I know I want to make sure I stay on plan, it is the perfect meal. I pretty much just saute the tofu Add in the frozen vegetables, add in the rice and the sauce, mix it up until it's warm, and then I'm eating within probably about 15 minutes. It's amazing and I will be sure to leave the sauce recipe in the description box below.
because of this cold blustery day my favorite coconut curry soup is on the menu for dinner tonight. It is packed full of so many delicious seasonings. I love the vegetables that are in it. I feel really nice and full afterward and it's so good. My whole family loves it. I will be making it in my three quart instant pot, but I don't want you to feel discouraged from making it if you don't have a pressure cooker. You can absolutely make it on the stove top. Just make sure that you check the water levels and make sure that your brown rice is cooked all the way through. One more note is that you might not want to use a can of full fat coconut milk. You could use light coconut milk. You could use soy or almond milk instead. One last note about this soup, the nutmeg is a big deal. It really is. It will not have the same flavor if you do not add that nutmeg in. So make sure you add it in and I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Good luck if you are also spring cleaning or fall cleaning or whatever kind of cleaning you are doing right now. And I hope that you enjoy these recipes. Thanks again for watching. Remember it is all about the experiences, not the stuff, and I'll see you next time.